The hot end is the most important part of your printer, but something that a lot of new users are afraid to tinker with. In reality, it's just a piece of metal that gets hot and it's really not that complicated as it seems. I'll show you how simple the design is, how you can take it apart if you have to clean it, and most importantly, how to properly change the nozzle. There are four main components. The nozzle, the heat block, the heat break, and the heat sink. You also need the heater cartridge that actually heats up everything, and a thermistor that measures the temperature. I'm showing an E3D hot end as an example, but all of them have the same basic components. When the cartridge heats up, the heat transfers to the nozzle via the heat block, and that's how the filament melts. Technically, that's all you need. But there is a problem. When the plastic melts, it also expands. As it has nowhere else to go, some of it will travel upwards. And because the heat break is touching the heat block, it will heat up as well. All of this results in the filament melting higher up than it should. But because the upper part of the hot end is not as hot, the plastic there will solidify and you have no way of melting it again. This will eventually block the new filament coming in and will cause a jam, which can then only be cleaned by taking the hot end apart. This is more commonly known as heat creep. The main job of the heatsink is to prevent this from happening by cooling down the heat break. It has a large surface area which transfers the heat away faster. But even that is not enough, so most hot ends have a dedicated heatsink pan as well. This also explains why using a larger retraction setting will jam your hot end. As the filament retracts, the tip of it is still melted. This will gradually build up into an obstruction, but because it's so high up, it won't melt again. So you've just won another fun day of taking the hot end apart. By the way, buy a few of these 0.4mm needles if you ever have to clean it. The rear end works great for cleaning the heat brake and the back of the nozzle. Hot air gun is also indispensable for cleaning. Now that you know how the hot end works, let's take a look at how to put it together. It's hard to show you how it works with the actual one, so I've printed out a large model to help you visualize what's going on inside. We have the nozzle and the heat block as before, but you can see the heat break better now. Assembling the heat break is very easy. Just screw it in as far as it will go. You shouldn't use a lot of force to tighten it. You would think that you can continue by simply attaching the heat block, but this is where a lot of problems come from. If the heat break isn't low enough, your nozzle will hit the block before reaching the heat break. This will leave a gap between them and that's the best way to ruin your day. Sooner or later, it will either jam your hot end or, much more likely, the plastic will start oozing out from above the heat block. Good luck trying to clean that up. The correct way is to start with the nozzle first. Screw it in by hand until there's a gap of about half a millimeter. Now screw in the heat brake as well until you heat the nozzle. You only have to tighten it slightly for now. You can mount the hot end now if you want, but it's a bit harder to tighten it that way. Next, connect the cartridge and thermistor and heat it up to the maximum. When it reaches the final temperature, tighten the nozzle, but be careful not to use too much force. If you're using a torque wrench, set it below 1 Nm. You can also print a torque wrench yourself, and it actually works great. For most nozzles, you will need a 7mm hex socket. 
again ensure that you can see a small gap between the nozzle and the heat block. The top of the nozzle should never touch the heat block. And that's about it. Check for any leaks after a few hours of printing, but you really shouldn't have any problems if you follow the these steps. Don't hesitate to get in touch if you have any questions or issues with your hot end. And I'll see you next time.